hello it's your guy again richie sword as you know welcome to my youtube channel so today i want to talk about two different things which i'm going to be showing the video but before we get right into it if you are new to my channel you are welcome <laughs> So you're welcome, you're welcome. Before you finish watching this video, feel free to you know subscribe if you haven't and click the notification bell, the small bell near the subscribe button. That way you get an update anytime I post a video. So for those wondering why should I subscribe when I'm just new here, this channel is all about entertainment, it's all about personal vlog, educational things. This is a channel of all weather. When I mean all weather, we bring everything together to showcase it on this channel. And if there's anything you want to also know about um, living here in Germany, like educational related issues, like resident document papers and all that free 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 to comment down below i'm here to help you at home as in with the little way i know okay <laughs> so yeah i'm here to help you out with the little way i know yeah so before we start um there's this lady that passed on last week she's a youtuber i didn't even get to know her person i just got the news today that she died on the day of her monetization it was so sad so you know since i heard this news this morning i've not really been myself i've been wondering what could have happened to her and the worst part is that she didn't get to put on her dollar sign i think she had been monetized but she didn't get to put on her dollar sign before her death it was actually the day of her celebration from the news that i heard that she had cake you know juice and all that and something went along the line and she just died this is so sad so i'm going to show her picture and was have a mini talent for her she lives in germany here and also this lady nicotia some people will be wondering and be like why am i talking about it now some people might be wondering and be like, why am I talking about it now? I got the news about this lady that died today. And for Nico, you know, a lot of things have been happening. But what really surprised me about Nico too is that the day I heard of her death, I went to her channel. It was just like 101 subscribers. And within one week, 29,000 people subscribed to her, making it now 130 subscribers plus. What I don't understand is, does it mean that some people just wait for people to die? before they show their love or what please oh my fam amazing people show me love now that i'm alive subscribe share my video like it not the other way around though our prayer is for us to live long but the thing is no one knows tomorrow but i feel eh, all this messy after that is no longer relevant it's no longer necessary because if you love someone if you want to show someone love show them love when they are alive because if they die the world beyond no one knows what happens there and we don't see things that happen there only the dead or those who have died and resurrected can tell about the life that happened beyond after death but what i know that after a man died the next thing is judgment so if you live well while you're on earth it's between you and god and if you don't it's between you and the devil some people don't believe in devil some people say this 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 some people ask does god really exist of course he does exist if he does not exist who do you then believe on devil or what you know this life eh? i don't want to preach too much i'm going to show you the two video one it's funny one is a bad sad thing but one is very funny it's about this new generational thing like i'm just rushing it together <laughs> so before we get right into it i would like us to observe a mini talent for this lady this is her youtube channel so let me just quickly show you guys her youtube channel and that of nico for those who would like to check her out like i really feel so sorry for her she's a mother she lives in germany here she's married and just look at what happened to her on the day of her monetization she died and not just only that she left little kids uh, uh, around and i heard now that her husband can no longer go to work now because he have to take care of the kids and she have like six kids oh my god May her soul rest in perfect peace. So let me show you guys her YouTube channel and then we just go to, you know, observe a minute talent for her and you. This is her YouTube channel. That's the lady right here. So pretty, full of life. Oh my God, what would have happened to her on her day of monetization? This is her YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel name is Mommy Creating TV. And this is Nicotio. You already know her, the lady who died um, during her eight months pregnancy, which no one also know what happened. Some people say it was an attack. Some people say it was um, 
maybe birth control or something related that she did in the past all those things are just assumptions so let's us have a mini silent for them may their soul rest in perfect peace amen so let's get right into today's video so today video i just want to talk about this new generation and things like the extent kids can go these days and i mean kids adults like us the extent they can go these days to play their parents man. oh my god these people are lucky that it's not the parents of before so let's play this video and you guys feel free to leave your comments below what you think about the whole thing so this is the lady okay so i'm calling my dad now like if you try this with some african parents like although these are you know maybe black americans or still african parents who live in the uk or us or in the states but there are some african parents that will not take nonsense like they are no nonsense parents you dare not play this prank or there make a whole full grown-up man your father to start acting like his leg is broken just to cover up for you if you try this with some african parents you are gone like when i mean you are gone you're dead <laughs> You see that I receive a hot slap or whipping. When I mean whipping, lashes. You know, they were, they, when I was growing up, there's this thing they used to call koboko. They used to talk sense into people. Oh, oh my God. I remember way back, I did something very stupid. And for the very first time in my life, my grandpa gave me that koboko. As in the thing, eh? Oh my God. No, was it my grandpa? No, it wasn't my grandpa because my grandpa was so nice. It was one of my uncle that did it. Oh yeah, I remember what I did. It was one of my uncle that did it. It was during this Migo session. Guys, sorry that I'm talking about this. I'm still going to play the next video. But let me just quickly talk about this. For those who don't know Koboko, Koboko is like um this plated, uh, it's not even woo, but they make it like woo. It's like plated one. They plate it like this hair. And then it has like three stripes. Like one, two, three. It has like those three things in one. Eh? And it's plated like this. They use it to talk sense into somebody like when you misbehave. So I remember way back when I was growing up. It was, you know, during my go season. I went to plug my go in my grandpa's house. And my uncles were there. And I was just like plugging flogging the mic you know when you want the mic to four by four so you carry a stick and you start like hitting it hitting it flogging the mic and i ended up putting a lot of pieces of mic trees on the floor and my uncle's like pick it i was like no it was like pick it i said no so i was acting stubborn and then when i saw he come here i started running and i ran i ran i ran that he had to run and follow me till he caught up with me oh man for the very first time he gave me that koboko do you know till today i still have the mark on my lap like one of the mark on my lap because it didn't enter my brain um i don't expect people to use that but those days those were like the way the the african parents like most of them teach kids a lesson to make them receive sense but now that i'm growing up i realize that is not the best way it's better to talk with your child one on one another the point i'm trying to make is that there are some african parents that will not take no nonsense from you personally now someone like me and my child i realize that if i'm a little bit loud when i'm speaking to my child he's like mm -mm, don't do that but when i'm calm and i talk to him he understand better and he takes correction better when you are calm with him and that's the same thing i do like anytime someone is you know 
trying to correct me and the person is just unnecessary being loud or trying to like use power and all that be like ah who this one won't use power for you know they work with me but if you are calm and you talk to me in a normal friendly way i always take correction that's the best way i take my correction so me why comment down below what do you think about this joke because this is an expensive joke but this is the love a parents have for their kids this is like the love god have for us because this ma went to an extent thinking it was reality it was real to cover up for her daughter you know for his daughter that's that's the the love that is undefinable see the extent parents can go kids need to start respecting their parents more because you know there are some kids when they start growing up they'll be like oh my dad is this my dad or oh, my mom is this just because you try to correct some kids some kids don't hate correction like they just think they know everything so sometimes when they start growing up and they realize oh my parents did this oh my parents always tell me to stay at home no clubbing all that they would know that all those things were for their own good and they try to like ask stubborn but us still come to all there is nothing like parents love and the love god have for us oh my goodness this video got me cracking up but it was also a video to learn from so meanwhile let's go to the second video the second video do you think that this lady deserve what she got leave your comment down below <laughs> I can't laugh a lot because I personally think she got, as in, she deserves what she got. So I'm going to play the video for you guys. So just watch the video. Let me start from the beginning, guys. This is the beginning. guys what do you guys think do you think that this lady deserves this hot slap she received <laughs> i'm laughing because it's money no like seriously how do you walk up to a pretty lady and I'll tell the lady to get out of the shop and uh, that she's not from this country she go back to mexico like what the what the f you know so comment down below do you think that lady got as if she deserved what she got because she came to the girl first and she grabbed the lady and the lady retaliated which is called self-defense you know but this is 21st century for crying out loud why are some people still racist you know thinking that just because you're a person of color just because you have brown color or you're black or something that you don't belong to a particular ethnicity or something it doesn't make any sense like I know it's been happening for ages it's still happening but i just feel that some people need to like grow up and stop this racism we all are one it does not mean that because you're white you have a green blood and because i'm brown or i'm black then i have red blood it doesn't we all have one blood one blood so i think some people really have to you know do away with this racism and start accepting everybody as one because if you come to think of the whole thing come to think of the whole thing there is no way the western world can survive without the blacks i said it like seriously <laughs> no but come to think of it it's a logical thinking yeah 
some blacks come here they do a lot of work more harder than most of the white people would do they do tedious work you know stressful jobs and all that and they contribute a lot to the economies and sometimes people still see those people right riding good cars or having good life and they are still like envious of them like what the fuck are you doing in the country sorry i'm using the f word and all that but us still come to all so i actually feel that people should just learn to accept others the way they are you know and be a little bit more tolerating you know meanwhile i'm in this um park plot you can see in front of aldi and over there is river and all that so i'm just going to do a little shopping it's saturday then we'll be heading back home so i'll see you guys on my next video feel free to leave your comment down below let us interact by the comment section like on the comment session whether it's bad on <laughs> these days i just miss as in my english is messed up guys so if you hear me saying past tense instead of present and then present instead of past tense, just ignore me just ignore that one pick the sense out of what i'm saying and you know then just do with it okay sometimes it's not because i don't know the right words to use sometimes i want to use the right way and the wrong words come out it's just like speaking german you want to say the right thing sometimes the wrong thing comes out and then you realize you said the wrong thing and then you recorrect yourself again so yeah i'll see you guys on my next video i hope this was a little bit helpful don't forget to share this video like 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 let's have at least 100 like on this video please 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 i'm begging you it's not my day tree i'm begging so i love you guys i'll see you guys on my next one and thank you for those that have been showing me constant love i love you guys uh yeah see you on my next one